Okay, so in the previous sections, uh, including this chapter and section 11.5, we saw this idea of the conservation of angular momentum, which means that as long as there's no tangential forces um, acting on, on the object that's rotating, then that means that it's not speeding up if there's no tangential force. If there's no tangential force, there's no tangential acceleration, which means it's not speeding up or slowing down. Um, and if there's no tangential force, then the angular momentum remains constant. Okay? Um, so we want to look more in this chapter on the conservation of angular momentum. But bef uh, before we get to this, this end point, we want to we want to just consider um, if we apply a force um, uh, on the object in such a way, uh, recall that the torque generated by that force is equal to Rf sine theta. And, and we're going to give torque this, the Greek letter uh, tau, the symbol tau. Okay, And so it's equal to uh, Rf sine theta. Okay, what does this mean? It's either R sine theta times F or R times F sine theta, which means it's, it's the perpendicular distance times the force or the distance times the perpendicular force. Okay, so there's the force. It's either, if you extend this line of action of the force, that the magnitude of that force times this perpendicular distance or it is the perpendicular component of the force times that distance. That gives you the torque. All right. Okay, we've seen that before. The SI unit is Newton meter. All right. Um, then, this, uh, the, the component of this force that's causing the tangential uh, acceleration is this parallel component, F parallel which we can also call F tangential because it's acting in the, in the tangential direction. So we know this equation. The tangential force is equal to the mass times the tangential acceleration. All right. So, but we know that the torque is equal to R F per perpendicular. Did I say parallel for the previous one? My mistake. Okay, I'm just going to correct that. I, I mean perpendicular, perpendicular. Okay. So we know that the torque is equal to RF perpendicular, which is RF tangent. So if we take this guy and we plug it into there, we're going to get this. Torque um, subscript theta, which means that it can be um, positive or negative is equal to R M A uh, tangential, M A T. That's what we have there. Okay, so we just, just stick with me here. We're going to get to something quite interesting. So, and we know that the tangential acceleration is also given by R alpha. Remember, this is... Alpha is the uh, rotational acceleration and, and AT is the tangential acceleration. And these two are related by R, by the radius. And so if I plug that guy into there, I get RM, R alpha, subscript theta, which is then equal to MR squared alpha. Now, where have we seen MR squared before? Where have we seen that? Well, we know MR squared is your rotational inertia so your torque is then equal to your rotational inertia times alpha torque is i alpha and where have we seen something similar to this well this is the rotational equivalent of f equals m a force equals mass times acceleration your your well mass meaning your inertia times your acceleration here we have rotational inertia times rotational acceleration. Okay. Now remember, this is for a particle. Okay. This is for a particle. 
Uh, in the next one, we're going to look at how to determine this for an extended object. And this is called the rotational equation of motion. Okay, just like F equals MA is your equation of motion, this is known as the rotational equation of motion.